Oh, sh wow, I can do so many Ottoman decisions right now. I completely forgot about it. So first, Restore of Vilayet Beirut. That's a ton of new cores, very nice. Then we have Integrate Egypt. Then Restore Tripolania and Tunis and Alger Algerian Aylets. Wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I went from 600,000 manpower to 4.6 million. <laughs> uh, that's a 4 million bonus. <laughs> I won't complain about that. Hello there everyone and welcome back to the final episode of Putting the Band Back Together. We are the Central Powers, Europe is almost ours and I'm joined once again by Daniel. Hello, Ottoman Empire right here. Uh, yeah, I'm a senior QA at Hoi4. And also by Robert. Uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire here. Uh, I'm Robert, game designer at Hearts of Iron. Yeah, and I'm playing as the glorious Kaiserreich. We have swept through France, and uh, there is a budding Turkish invasion of Britain ongoing as we speak. So let's get back into the action. Like, I would almost like to kind of protest against that sweeping through France when most of it is controlled by Austria-Hungary. I said we. I mean, I mean, though, to be fair, those were, Germ those were German tanks leading the, uh, the spearhead from the south. Yeah, okay. I guess that's fine. I can, uh, I can, of course, take some of the land off your hand there, Robert, if, uh, if you don't want <laughs> to. I'm uh, looking into that okay. presently. Otherwise, um, I've led my Turkish troops to complete victory in northern Africa, and it's now pushing south into, well, Africa controlled by Italy, Sudan, France, Belgium, and all the other allied nations. So we're going to crush them and continue with my invasion of the UK. Uh, let's start the, speed, launch, start the game on speed 2, just a bit slower than usual, so everyone gets into whatever they were doing, and then we can go full speed ahead once again. Still got all these encircled troops on the uh, Maginot Line in central Belgium to mop up. Uh, I need more tungsten. Hmm. Oh right, we can trade to Portugal now, since we have our land border with them. Oh, Portugal, give me all that tungsten. Oh, yes. That is a good point. In fact, I still need convoys, though, which is annoying. <laughs> convoys, yeah. Uh, I can send you some if you need them, like, right now. Um, uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. Um, we, I mean, we, we've more or less smashed the Allied navies to a large extent, so... Um, Actually, you don't need convoys to check Portugal. Well, I, I do, according to the trade menu. That's a bit weird. Uh, I'll send you 200. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, that, that I accidentally sent to Bohemia. Whoops. Uh, do you want... Uh, I would say do you want some tanks in Britain, but you seem to have no supply, so... I guess not. Oh, shit. So, chat, this, uh, is, our, this is our last stream before Christmas. Uh, we will be back in the new year with more weekly streams. So if you have any questions or anything to ask us or note, then uh, do let us know in the chat and we will do our best to respond when we can tear our eyes away from our armed forces. Should be fine. Like, I don't think we have to be too worried anymore. No, but... yeah, we've, um, we've passed the moment of maximum danger, I think. Yeah, like... Before last session, we didn't do... Like, we looked not too great, honestly. We got a little it bit bogged down. It was kind of a big pain. It was uh, the middle of last session, we were in dire straits because the supply problems in northern France meant that our entire front almost collapsed. But apart from that, it's fine. What happened to the British Air Force? Did it, did it all just go up in smoke? I think uh, it, it's all been of it was wiped. It's been systematically uh, murdered over the last... Uh... <clears throat> Four years. or five years. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, this is a huge encirclement now in um, Belgium. It's like this is like the bulk of Britain's remaining army inside this pocket. Hmm. 
We're looking at we're looking at forty five divisions, maybe a bit more. Britain's at one point six one million casualties. Maybe a oh, there! Minutes. Wow, that's and a pretty good be, one. Once this falls, they're going to be at a lot, a lot more than that. Mm. Yeah, um, in <laughs> in northern France and in the Benelux over the course of the war, I think there's been somewhere around 10,000 enemy fighters destroyed. Wow. Oh, wow, that's quite a lot. Definitely is. So my front line in UK need to regroup. And then we're just going to slaughter the last little push to bring down the UK. Uh, okay. I can, in fact, send tanks to the UK because I was looking at... I was looking at my the supply for me, and I had um, most of the sea zones, or all the sea zones, flagged as don't go there for my convoys, <laughs> which of course meant no supply. So let's. Um... Let's arrive to take the glory in uh, England. Hmm. I have a bit of a conundrum in Africa. Like, they have a good mountain range and a good amount of UK, US and Italian soldiers is preventing me from continue pushing down there. And supply is absolute crap right there, so it's going to take a while before I can, well, fill up everything. Let's attack Russia. Hmm. Yeah, Britain lost like 350,000 people in that pocket. Oh, nice. Oh no, it's a naval invasion. How will I cope? Oh no, not a naval invasion. <laughs> That's, that's a truly uh, galaxy brain move there. Yeah, they're going to take Dunkirk, though. Yeah, well, that's it. It's game over. Game over, man. Game over. While I'm crushing the mainland British Atta Empire. Attack USA? I mean, we could try. And there we go. Oh, Oops. my tanks didn't even get to the front line. That's disappointing. I mean, we could try and attack the USA. They were quite hard. Because they are so, long, so far away. Come on, don't let the U.S. take over that. That would be quite annoying. I mean, it's either it's either going to be U.S. or Soviet Union. I like. I think Soviet Union is the most logical choice. Yeah. Because we can attack them from, like, so many different directions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's take two divisions from here, a sign right there, and now you should be able to protect the British Islands. Maybe I should try and, like, oh, I can't justify in, like, 30 days. Come on, guys. Strategic redeploy. Get to the front line. Okay, so I'm going to sort my armies out. I'm, they're a bit disorganized currently. So we can attack Soviet from one, two places in the south and just the main front line. Yes. Uh, I probably need more troops. Because it is the Soviets. Hmm. I'm missing a bit of like everything right now, but grabbing UK did help me a bit at least with gaining a few more factories. Oh my god, <laughs> what are those borders? It's pretty borders. It's like Austria-Hungary in the middle, Ottoman Empire in the south, uh, uh, and, and British Empire, and then Germany in the north. <laughs> uh, let's see, these guys are now trying to garrison everything? Yeah. Let's include that area. So we need 19 troops for you. And I'm assigning you right there. That should be the all of British Islands. I'm going to ignore Ireland because, yeah, they're still not part of the war. Uh, and let's so These 21 divisions, I want you to be stationed just in mainland Germany now, together with the paratroopers. And then I'm slowly but sadly going to transfer everything over to the Soviet front. Oh, uh, you should cancel the non-aggression pact. With Soviet Union. Uh, okay. I don't Otherwise have one. can't justify against them. I don't have one with the Soviet Union. Oh right, we need some divisions on the borders for before we can cancel it. Is that, I think I think it's you that has it, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. You, but you happen to be the faction leader because no, I am. I'm the faction leader. 
purpose, so I can I can I can justify them. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not faction. I I, I remember I had, I took a non-aggression pack with them long long time ago, just in like extra safety. They would randomly attack me. Right. I do not need to have all these planes flying these missions now. Uh, let's see. I might be able to try to do some kind of small little power. I know what I need. I need air bases and lots of them in the uh, in the east. I can handle my border for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't I can handle the check border. I'll put an arm on the, okay, I'll, I'll fill the check border. It's, I mean, this this mountain area would, would just be defensive anyway, and they won't be able to push through, so it's fine. We'll handle that to Manteufel. He can deal with uh, that. Josh, did you also have a ton of extra infantry equipment? I could actually get I have 51,000 spare. I would love a tiny bit more. A tiny I bit got more. I got 14k from Robert, but maybe okay, 10k I will send you. I will send you a tiny bit more. I don't know, what do you want, like 20k? 10k, something like that would be awesome. 10k, even better. Oh shit, now the US is invading. Oh, they're they naval invading us in the west. No, they're naval invading UK. Alright, okay, so we still don't have the garrison now, aren't we? That's uh, annoying. Uh, okay, so I should keep some troops in the west. Uh, I should probably double my garrison. Oh wow, what the hell happened? Look at India! Oh my lord! <laughs> Afghanistan and Japan have uh, divided India up. Yeah, wow. What the hell happened? I was also, like, also why does India. both Iran and Afghanistan want to send an expeditionary force? They need them on their front. Well, apparently they do not. That's going to be a huge front against the Soviets. Yeah, I I'm going to have to extend it quite a bit. So, so I, I mean, Dan, are you are you happy holding your Caucasus front with the Soviets all by yourself? Oh yeah, like no, no, like, this will be fine. Yeah, okay. like the only big issue is that. Actually, there's no big issue. If I, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, that's also why I'm like asking you for equipment because I'm massively scaling up my army. Good. I have um a twenty-four division army about to finish in a month. Other than that, I have six divisions in reserve. Uh, you could do training. Okay. Oh, wow. Another naval invasion coming from the US. Well, this time it's going to be fine. I doubled my garrison in England, just in case. So, uh, so the the choice is: Do I either use my tanks to try and spearhead towards Estonia quickly, or do I try and encircle troops in the centre here, around Warsaw? Terrain's much more favourable in the centre. We can push through and get a big encirclement on the Russians. Yeah, just go as, like as, as much in as possible. I think we need to make them counteract whatever you are doing, so they leave me a bit alone. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you could start right. with like a little baby and encirclement south of Krakow, and then break well, I could through do that across is the, the entire center of Poland. Naval invasions that would be good. Because I, because we, we, I mean, we're easily going to have naval superiority. I've got about five thousand million battleships now. Uh, they should all be in here. <laughs> wow, the shot, this shot strikes back. When I said the thing about General Kenobi, they said, sorry, Daniel, we have never watched Stargate. <laughs> oh, Stargate, Canada. Is, uh, Stargate Canada is pretty good. The leadership though. of its own faction, including <laughs> South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and Nigeria. It's a good job, Canada. We're not even at, we're actually at war with Canada. Oh, Coalition of the Free Commonwealth States. Yeah. Uh, that's enough of that. They broke apart from the entire thing. Wow, there are US ships in the Mediterranean harassing me. Could your naval bombers deal with it? Uh, where do you want them? Uh, it seems like most of the US fleet is right here. Then yes, I can. I have bombers. You can help. I, will uh, also I, I, help. I probably have like even more bombers now. I just Put them in Italy. Um, naval bombers. I've put up a thousand tack bombers for you as well. There we are. 
The sun from red. sinking all over the place. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff sinking now. There we go. Level four logistics company. Right. I kind of just want to give all my planes to Robert. But, um. I mean, I probably have enough air force to single-handedly kill their whole air force. Uh, if you th want to throw up a few radar towers along the border, though, that'd be oh, yeah. nice. Uh, yes. All oh, right, I haven't, I haven't stolen Bulgarian units in a while. Definitely do that. So, do you, do you want to just like fill all my air bases, and I'll just like not bother with the air? Sure. Cool. Uh, that is best all training. Uh, right, yeah, naval invasion. So, if people wonder why I move around my generals, is that I always try to keep them in my own straight line, where this guy, he's on the front line in the furthest top, so I try to keep him right there. The guy in the middle, in the middle, and this guy, well, he's going to be in the furthest south, so I keep him at, like, the furthest to the right. So I kind of line them up down there the same way as I have in the top. And here, the other one has just become this garrison and random fronts I don't care about too much. Because I am not going to break through that African front line now. <laughs> when the UK lost and everything else happened, the Allies just put everything <laughs> in the African front right now. So I'm instead building a couple of forts just to make sure they can't break through there when I'm busy with the Soviet Union. Hmm. So, I was, so I'll, I'll try and just break through to the north into Latvia as quickly as possible to, stre to stretch their front up and make them... Relocate troops. Hashtag free Latvia. Hashtag free Lithuania. They will have some diversionary naval invasions to put pressure on them. Come on. Let me select you. And you're gonna be something run like this. Okay. Then let's grab the orange one. It's you. Yeah, very good. Alright. Um, so I'm more or less ready to start justifying. So How long will it take? Guys... 30 days. Okay, yeah, uh, give me two more seconds then. That's Actually, fine. no, you can start justifying for me. I will start justifying. Robert, you're good? Yeah. Yeah, that's how, that's, that is how it's supposed to look. Okay, then we just need to fix you somehow. Oh wait, that's actually the blocker. Yeah, the, uh, the US fleet has been smashed. Very nice. Okay, my fleet will be going out into the Baltic at the go. time. Uh, you're going to be on strike force, but not... Yeah, make sure you're here. Good, I should do it. Ah, oh, thank you, Bulgaria. First I steal your troops, then you give me equipment. I knew I had a friend in Bulgaria. Oh, I wow. see Mal Malta is independent and just getting absolutely battered by our naval bombers constantly. Oh wow! Fun. Oh sh wow! I can do so many Ottoman decisions right now. I completely forgot about it. So first, restore of Vilayet Beirut. That's a ton of new cores. Very nice. Then we have integrate Egypt. Then restore Tripolania and Tunis and Alger, Algerian Aelets. Wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so I went from 600,000 manpower to 4.6 million. Uh, that's a 4 million bonus. I won't complain about that.